on the scanner for refinement, make sure you have progress record chosen. So now we're gonna scan. You know, we always start with the lower arch. I always start on the lower left and go to the lower right. You always start on the occlusal surface. Get the wand tip in where you can see the occlusal surface before you turn it on. Once it's on, finger placement is everything. Your left hand guides this wand tip, which will get you a faster scan. So I'm supporting it with my index finger and my thumb. I'm gonna come straight forward on the occlusal surface as my index finger holds the lip away. Once I see the canine, I'm gonna tilt the wand towards his forehead and go straight across the lingual. The whole time, my index finger is walking with it and holding that lip out of the way. Once I see the lower right canine, I'm gonna tilt the wand tip back down and go straight back. Here, I'm gonna roll in towards your tongue without stopping and go all the way back to the lower left, just getting the lingual. Once I get to the lower left, I'm going to roll to the buckle. Here, I'm gonna hold my thumb on the wand tip and I'm gonna press his cheek and lip against the bottom. I'm gonna walk with it to hold his lip out of the way where you're gonna fight with that lip right here and it's gonna take you multiple attempts to get these lower interior teeth. Once I get to the midline, I stop. I'm gonna come back to the lower right, roll to the buckle, and again, walk to the midline. Once the scanner picks up the whole arch, you're done. Now I'm gonna look at the scan. I need to get this lower left second molar a little bit better. Because there's a little crowding on the anterior, sometimes you will get a blue spot there. Easiest way to fill those in will be to hold his lip away. Hook him like a fish is what I like to say. One tip goes on the lingual and you roll to the facial. That blue spot is already filled in. Once you fill it in, stop. Don't keep going or you're gonna end up with lip, cheek, gloves in the scan that you do not need. Now let's fill in this molar a little bit better. Now I'm gonna roll in towards your tongue. There you go. Once you get it, stop. All right, we have no blue spots, so we're gonna go on to the upper arch. Upper left, around to the upper right, occlusal surface, up to the canine, tilt the base towards his chin, straight across the lingual for upper anterior. There's the canine, straighten your wand base, straight back to the second molar, roll in towards the lingual, and go all the way back to the left. The more you turn this, the more tooth you're gonna get. Now we're gonna roll back to the buckle, and we're gonna work our way to the midline. See how I'm holding his cheek and lip? If not, it's gonna slip out of my fingers and cause me to have to go back multiple times to fill in. Now we're going to the upper right, roll to the buckle. See how I'm using both fingers to hold his lip up? Scan to the midline, making sure to always get at least two millimeters of gum. Couple little blue spots here, easiest way to get it. Hold that lip out of the way. Start on the lingual and roll to the facial. Sometimes these clear buttons can be difficult to fill in. Invisalign software will know that that's a clear button, but of course try to fill it in as best you can. This is his cheek. Wanted to make sure that went away first. Upper looks good. So now we're gonna get the bite. Always do the left side first. Here, go in with the wand tip facing down. Open, cheek out, wand tip in. Twist as you push the cheek out. Bite down, hold the cheek slowly zigzag up and down. Once all the teeth pop up, you've got it. Same thing on the right side. Wand tip facing down. Twist as you push the cheek out. Hold the cheeks slowly. All the teeth popped up. Done. Because we made sure all the blue spots were filled in as we went, there will be no blue spots at the end to go back and fill in. We're going to do one in each cheek. You're gonna pull them apart and bite down. So a cheek retractor, each treat, pull it apart. He bites all the way down. Put the patient's head where you need it. Chin up a little and turn towards me some. Good, leave them in. Let me hold this one. Now we're gonna get the buckle. You hold the left side, but don't pull it. Bite all the way down. Good, 
Let's trade. Now you turn your head to the right. Cause again, I'm short, more to the right. Good, good. Leave them in, but swoop up like this. There you go, both of them. Sir, make sure those elbows are spread for me and I'm gonna have you open big, big as you can. Make sure the mirror is tilted up. The mirror can almost touch the back of those second molars. All right, now I want you to pull these down to your bottom lip. On this one, I want you to put your chin up. Perfect. Again, touch the back of those second molars. 